guys, this is F1 2018, and this is the start of the F1 2018 career. That I may actually continue and con actually career, well, finish a career mode season on one of the latest Codemasters games. Hopefully, I well, hopefully I will. I, I, I intend to. Team selection. You need to select a team for each to race for. E okay, yeah, that's fine. And I, I have had a look at the teams here. And Mercedes AMG Patronus is sportsmanship rather than showmanship. It's a bit strange there, but uh, I think if you guys have been following me on Twitter and you guys can you see have seen one of the posts that I've done, I am starting with Williams, who are after showmanship for some reason. Okay, so we go for Williams Racing. And our teammate shall be, for this season, I'm picking Sergei Sorokin as our teammate for this season. Apparently that's full practice, something to prove, no? Okay, that's fine. A formation lap on difficulty is going to be 100%. It's going to be on Legend 100%, yeah, because Ultimate is going to be too difficult flashbacks. I'm going to turn them... Mm, we'll have them on. Will shall I? No, turn them off. Part for me rules off vehicle damage full safety car on regular race starts. Uh, full speed, half speed. Let's go full speed. Um, race starts manual assist. These are all my assists that I'm running for this year's game. ERS mode. Uh, well, that's manual because I normally have that on pit release manual. And yeah. Let's go, uh, let's go guys for the start of the career and I believe we got a bit of an introduction to go so I will see you guys before the start of the career. Okay, so we've got Carl and Claire. So Claire's going to be the, well, the, the media, which is new again to F1 2018. To and the yeah, Williams stuff is looking fresh. Including car telemetry, weather, lap times, tyre wear, the list goes on. Plus, we've got a direct link back to the factory. So we're in constant We do indeed, yes. The team there. All right, that's good. We need you to regularly feed back about areas of the car that are lacking. We just need a new car this year, I think, with Williams. More effort here equals a quicker car, so it's well worth the effort. Good luck this season. Yeah, I'm not really a big fan of the... Make it all look good, okay? Oh, yeah, I could try, but, um, yeah, the, the development is okay. You know, part of the game, but I'm not really a big fan of that. And there's Sergei Sorokin, our teammate this year. The William... Oh, Claire's saying... Not Claire. What's her name? I forgot her name now. Is she saying something? Oh, it's Emma. It even it's says on the screen. How could I forget Emma? So we, we, yeah, it's looking good. At least we're in the motorhome this time. I think if you can hear the cars outside, it sounds like the Porsches, but they don't race here in Melbourne. But anyway, never mind. We've got messages, yes, tutorials, yeah, goals update. Weather for today, for this Grand Prix, it's going to be dry, thankfully. Hopefully, so practice. Yep. On one side are the objectives and bonuses that we've negotiated with the team. On the other is information regarding how you're perceived throughout the paddock, your reputation with the current team, and your overall value to them, which is a combination of these elements. Okay, that, yeah, that's fine. Um, what's this? Rivals. Yeah, we know rivalries and driver details. Oh. Oh, it matches everything. That's actually. That I like. That's actually good. I I, I enjoy that. To be fair. The rival from the eligible selection, the more and then this is the R&D stuff. Depending on the result. So, um, have we got anything? Oh yeah, three engines for the entire season, which is going to be absolutely good. But we do have 
weekend tire allocation, that's okay, I don't need to worry about that. We have a practice in an event gearbox this time, okay. So yeah, is there anything R&D wise that we need to do at the minute? Um, mainly the durability, we, we'll, put, we'll put that on the car, develop the upgrade for that please. And um, maybe the powertrain do we need? We don't need anything powertrain, aerodynamics we do, so should we go for the... Let's go for the turning vanes on the front wing, because I think we might need a bit more there. So, we've got them. We don't really need do. I don't really know much about what we need for the car at the minute. So, I will see you guys for the first interview after practice. Okay, then. Our first lap on F1 2018 career mode is about to start. And I'm going to do the track acclimatization. We have a new helmet for this season. From different from 2017, of course. We're still the same number, car 99. And we've got somebody telling us. Yes, I understand that. Yes, I will do that, yep. You don't need to tell me about that. I understand this, and I forgot to open the DRS, but... Uh, but yeah, I don't need to run anything major, majorly quick in this session, because it's just the track acclimatization, and I thought we'd show you the first lap of the F1 2018 career. It's going well so far with this track acclimatization. Hopefully it's going to result in getting some lovely resource points to make this the world's best Formula 1 car as we just managed to get through that gate. Got to be careful through there in qualifying though. I don't know if I'll show qualifying too much because... I don't want the video to be a massively long video. Are we going to purple this this uh, track acclimatization on the very first lap of his career? Because we're a bit, so, a bit with Larry coming out of that f second to last corner. We're not going to be anywhere near Kimi Raikkonen's time as we do completely... Yes, we do. I think we've got the maximum points there, haven't we, for this? Do we? I think we do. Good day today. Tell us about it from your perspective. From my perspective? Okay, so... Um, hard work. But here you are, making your debut in Formula One. You must be thrilled. Uh, it isn't an end of a journey, it's the beginning. Yep. So how are you finding things at the team? Are you settling in? I'm relying on them to guide me. Yeah, because Williams definitely will help me, I think. Out of this season? Are you just aiming to find your feet in Formula One, or do you see something more? Um... Yeah, I, I'm gonna be... I'm gonna kiss Williams' ass there. <laughs> Alright, interview done. Time for the race. Okay then, qualifying has just been completed with Sebastian Vettel leading the field to the green flag as pole position for the first pole position of the season and um, yeah Valtteri Bottas second and Lewis Hamilton third the the reigning world champion Lewis Hamilton five sec well five tenths off the pace and as you can see we qualified in 14th it was 13th but somebody went quicker I don't know who it was it must have been Brendan Hartley only just went quicker but we're still 2.1 seconds off the pace and our teammate Sergei Sorokin 19th and Roman Grosjean didn't even set a time so let's get on down to the formation lap for the Australian Grand Prix. Okay then, here we are, down on the grid, ready to start the formation lap for the Australian Grand Prix. Our first race in the F1 2018 career, and we've out-qualified our teammate Sorokin, and we qualified higher than the Williams team ex expected us to. Yep. Indeed we do, just for the start of the Grand Prix, so I don't know why it's already on hot lap. You know, that is, and fuel mix turn, we turn the ERS deployment to zero, I always do on the formation lap. I don't need to, but I do. Um, Brendan Hartley in front. Personally, 
Well, no, no, the team expects me to beat Sergei Sorokin in today's Grand Prix. Shouldn't be too difficult, but having said that, it is a, it is me and I am driving a Williams and I'm not good here in Melbourne. It's not going to be as good as it was when we did the F1 2017 career. But, um, yeah, my personal goal for today is finish ahead of my teammate. I'm not looking at any points. Um, we, we started 14, so we might have a chance at some points, but... Um, my aim is just to probably finish ahead of both Toro Rosso as my personal aim as well as beat my teammates so yeah and not crash so let's get down to the start of the Australian Grand Prix okay then here we are on the grid for the start of the Australian Grand Prix can we make a decent start we're lights out and away we go on the F1 27 18 career sorry and yeah, we make a good start. We're already past Brendan Hartley in the Toro Rosso. That's one of my objectives done. Personal objectives done, that is. As he's... Well, one of the McLarens is fighting back. There's Sergio Perez going three wide on Magnussen and Alonso. Can we get past both McLarens? I'm going to try a bit of a dive bomb up the inside here. Hope Carlos Sainz can see me. He does. We make a little bit of contact with the Renault. And we threw to P7. Look at that. What a start that was from us. Okay, we run deep into that next turn. That's that's standard James, that is. Or standard Jam Sank if we go into one turn, making some passes, and then we, well, mess it up down into another. Is Sainz going to make an, uh, make an attack on us through this, to this next chicane? High speed chicane, no he can't. I should have gone up to eighth gear, but I didn't. That might be classed as corner cutting what I did there, but we'll find out. The energy deployment of this Williams needs to be definitely upgraded. We definitely need a slower um, deployment. You know, in higher modes like this, what we're using now, but still. Okay, and I've just looked at the track map, and both for, both Mercedes have jumped the Ferraris. As Valtteri Bottas leads the first lap of the season, as we come across the line in P7. There's a car out of the Grand Prix. Is it Lewis Hamilton going slow on the first lap of the Grand Prix? It's He's blowing up Lewis Hamilton. He's hit. Hulkenberg's hit him. Nico Hulkenberg has hit Lewis Hamilton. I'll put it down to medium now. Hamilton's out of the race. Hulkenberg's surely out of the Grand Prix. As we've got a Mercedes getting involved with a Renault. Okay, so at the end of lap four, I mean, end of lap three, sorry, start of lap four, we did get in DRS range of Ricardo, but we had a slide through the set into last corner, which has put us off the back of the, the Red Bull driver. But uh, Sergio Perez is starting to close in a little bit, but uh, ooh, we're on the grass. Through there, that's not good. As we, Well, I've, I've turned the engine, the fuel mix down and the deployment down because... I don't want to run out of fuel or energy deployment by the by not even halfway. But we will probably be pitting the next lap as well, so Okay, so sit rep, we're on lap six, pit stop time, and people have pitted. That's why we're up to P3. The two race leaders, Raikkonen, who took the lead off of Bottas, I think it was Raikkonen in the Ferrari. As we're sliding, coming out of nearly every corner now, as we've got Sergio Perez behind us. We've been fighting for it with him in the middle sector. Did I get a penalty? No, I didn't. Thank God for that. I thought I were going to get a penalty for speeding in the pit lane. Here we are. Come on, guys. Get us out ahead of Sergio. Yes, and ahead of a Renault. And he had to be held, so this is good. We've been overtaken by... Quite a few cars. We're going to be probably passed by Verstappen. 
And Sorokin, is, Serge, is Sergei pitted yet? No. He hasn't, did he? He nearly put us on the grass there. Our teammate did. But he's on a different strategy. But I'm not letting him pass because he's just going to hold us up. Sebastian Vettel is out of the Grand Prix. So that's the two, what you would think, major contenders as Ocon is out as well. What is happening here in, in Australia? What a crazy race so far. So we're up to P7 after a few cars have been taken out. This has surely got to be Kimi Raikkonen's day here in Melbourne. As Sergey heads for the pit lane, teammates in the pits as we pass Leclerc and somebody else. I think it must have been Magnussen. So we're up to P... Yeah, it is Mag well, Magnussen's in P6, which hopefully we're quicker than the Haas. And a P4 is looking like more than likely... No, P5, sorry. Is looking good for us today. Just a bit of an update, we're being caught by Kevin Magnussen in the Haas, so we're not as quick as the Haas at the minute as that might be considered corner cutting again. So we take it steady through the high speed chicane, Magnussen's going to be within DRS range, and Bottas has been overtaken by Verstappen, so looks like we're going to have to go very defensive down into turn one. Because Magnussen is right there, I can probably put, shall I put the... The RS deployment up a little, that might help us as we're coming to complete, well, complete lap 9 of the Grand Prix. I'm nearly, a, I'm half a minute clear of Sergei Sorokin. As Kevin Magnussen looks like he's going to the outside at turn 3, we sort of move across in the braking zone but not too much and not aggressively. And we're ahead of, Mag of K-Mag so far. Yep, I know, I understand this, but we've got a chance to pass a Mercedes. Magnussen's going for the move around the outside, down into turn one. Thankfully, there wasn't a space for him under DRS. Let's put it to low through this middle sector. Or through this first middle sector, sorry. Okay, we've got Kevin Magnussen right behind us again, coming down to this section where... He tried to pass us th on the outside of the cur this turn. I'm not giving him the inside. I'm going to always plant the Williams there. We've got Bottas right ahead of us. We've got a chance to overtake a slow Mercedes. I don't know what's up with Bottas here. He runs a little wide there. We're in DRS. Look at this. Can we we're going to pass a Mercedes with K-Mag in the way. Look at that. We've passed Valtteri Bottas for P4. Now let's see if we can scarper off a little. While saving some energy. We definitely need to sort out this energy deployment though. I don't know if you can do that. I hope you can. Okay, here comes K-Mag again with one last chance. Is he going to do it? Is K-Mag going to have a chance on the inside? No, we're blocking the inside. Through the high speed chicane, Kimi Raikkonen wins the Grand Prix. Fantastic work from the Ferrari man. We are going to have another, well, att attack by Magnussen, but uh, thankfully we stayed in front of him using hot lap because I want to run out of all the energy for the trophy. Oh, 
But I think 13, 14% is going to be enough for us to get across the line with enough. Here comes Kevin Magnussen. Is he going to have a chance? We're going to have finish with 5% left and in P4. Yes. Absolutely fantastic. I'm going to definitely take care of the car on the way in because the car took care of me. Enabled us for a top 5 position. P4 to start the career. How did we do when we did the F1 2017 career? Where did we finish? But anyway, Kimi Raikkonen wins for Ferrari like they did in 2017 and 18 in Melbourne. So, Kimi Raikkonen is the leader of a championship. Maybe that was the Italian Grand Prix he should have won in a way. Maybe it was that Bottas finishing P8 with a, with a, a problems with his car. I don't know what it was, what Bottas had with it. But here they are, the podium drivers. Two Red Bulls, Daniel Ricciardo second and Max Verstappen in third. Kimi Raikkonen lifts the trophy, points to his fans and the team like he did in 2017 and 16. And uh, yeah, they're spraying the champagne because Ferrari are on top of the World Drivers Championship. No, actually no, it would be Red Bull, won't it? On top of the constructors, mind you, but Kimi Raikkonen. Race winner once again. Here we go. Is it going to show us the actual standings? Here we are, yes. And Ricardo had a penalty as well. He does. Kimi Raikkonen takes the lead. Ricardo second. Verstappen third. We finish in fourth from 14th. And Kimi Raikkonen's the driver of the day. Never mind the fact we moved up 10 positions, but beside the point, Kevin Magnussen in third. I mean fifth. Then the two McLarens in 6th and 7th from 9th and 11th on the grid respectively. Bottas in P8, Carlos Sainz, P9 and Grosjean rounding out the top 10. And I think the only driver that stayed where he was in the entire race was Brendan Hartley in the Toro Rosso. So, and we've got four retirements. Vettel, Ocon, Hulkenberg and Hamilton. So, uh, yeah, with that, let's have a look at how we've done with... With the team see if our rivalry or if any teams are more impressed after that P4 finish in a Williams. Okay, I nearly missed this interview. Um, uh, well, great team, great car, yeah. Um, okay, um. Okay, it was great, yeah. You scraped the walls a few times. Were you struggling for grip? Um, I don't... Uh, car felt a bit too heavy, yeah. We need to be a bit lighter, so yeah. Great. Well, that's everything. Yep, okay. It's fine. <laughs> okay, then. Here what we is our rivalry breakdown. A podium finish, no penalty free, yes, yeah. And fastest lap, so... I am winning against Sergei Sorokin 6-3 at the minute. And our lovely resource points, yeah. And why doesn't why why didn't that? Oh, never mind. And our rep with other teams, yeah. Look at that. We're kind of doing well, and Williams is really happy with us. We are erring on the side of sportsmanship though more than showmanship, which Williams wants showmanship, but still, I can't be a bit of a. I bet you could try though. It's Uh, well, no, I'll go to next weekend. But um, yeah, uh, our yeah reputation with team doing well. We're doing all right. Set and driver, we're doing okay. Rivals, yeah, driver details, yep. Yeah. Fourth place for the Grand Prix for your start. I just I cannot believe that. Okay, so uh, R and D in progress. What am I clicking on now? Okay, nope. There we go. Nobody's really doing anything. We've got a few more resource points. Um. I wonder if I can... No, we can't put them into durability or anything yet because we don't have anything there. We can do these quality control things. So, um, yeah, let's go... Um, yeah, let's uh, wind tunnel... In oh, hang on. Hmm. Let's go for that one for now. And, yeah, just just for just for fun of it and then that should be okay. So, we've got, we've got them. Never mind about that. Fourth in Australia. Let's go to the next weekend and see everything what we've got to do there. The 
Oh, that's fantastic. We've got new parts on the car which are on for Bahrain, which will be... Oh, it's general wear. Okay, we've got another one to come, so um, never mind. Um, is that the only one we've got to come? Yeah, we've got that to come. That's supposed to be in China. So that's okay. That's not a problem. Um, yeah, so guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you've liked it, let me know in the comments uh, down below if you want to see, uh, you know, me finish, actually finish the career here. Here are the standings. Drivers and constructors um, leaving Australia. So yeah, guys, if you if you would like me to continue and finish an F1 2018 career, let me know in the comments down below. And I will see you guys for the next round, which will be in Bahrain. So for me and Sergei Sorokin and the entire Williams team, I will see you in Bahrain.